Dillon as the community pays their respects. Quietly among them are some of the survivors. Yeah, in the last few days, I've spoken with several of those survivors, both employees and everyday shoppers who watched as their peers were gunned down right before them. Today, I spoke with one employee and survivor who watched the first shots fired in this parking lot right behind me. She says the very fence that now surrounds it brings her both peace and terrible memories. In the shadow of a floral fence, in the abyss of sorrow, I don't want this to be real, but seeing this makes me feel a lot of peace. Emily Giffen, just 27, says the memorial outside King Supers brings a light to a tunnel of darkness. It was just a normal day, and um, we heard this pop, pop, pop. Giffen, a clerk at the store, was outside when she watched the first person get shot. He just, just fell. And this girl like screamed at me and she's like, what do we do? And I just grabbed her and I was like, we, we run, like we have to run. Of the 10 everyday people killed, three of them were her close peers. These people in here are like my friends, my family, they're my neighbors, my community. Since the shooting. I don't really know what to do with myself. She keeps finding herself back at the memorial, equally a place of peace and a place of grief. It feels good to be here and see it and see the beauty in the community, but then it just gets scary because it's real, because this really happened and like, this is a story in my life I'm gonna have to tell that like, somebody forced on me. While the unimaginable forever changed her life on the drop of a dime, the outpouring of support from the complete strangers helps her navigate the road ahead. I'd rather be here than alone. We're all in it together and that boulder strong. Emily tells us one of the toughest parts is coming to this memorial and seeing the faces of those she loved printed out with flowers around them. She said she and many of her coworkers are now seeking out counseling, which is really important to do in these tough times. Reporting live in Boulder, Dylan Thomas covering Colorado First.